Just hours ago, Afghanistan has been rocked by an earthquake of six magnitude and hundreds of people have lost their lives with thousands of more injured. So today we have Mukesh sir to understand the dynamics of this earthquake. So Mukesh sir, what can you tell us about this earthquake in Afghanistan? So this region is a very active seismic zone and it forms a zone of convergence between the Indian plate and the Eurasian plate margin. Indian plate being the heavier and the denser one undergoes subduction. But this subduction is not smooth. Oftentimes these rocks get trapped and locked with each other. And that is where the force of resistance keeps on building up. Over a period of time, as this resistant force is overcome, sudden and massive release of energy does happen, which is experienced in the form of these earthquakes. And that is why we do experience the earthquake in these regions. Right. But sir, we also see a lot of seismicity in the Pacific region, particularly around the Ring of Fire. And even places like California, Japan or Russia, they do witness these earthquakes. So what's the difference between those earthquakes and the one we have seen in Afghanistan? The difference, for example, when we talk about the Californian earthquakes, Californian earthquakes are mostly caused due to the slip between the rocks. It is a kind mm -hmm. of a transform fault earthquake. Right. Whereas when we talk about the region of Afghanistan, you have a subduction. And also one of the major differences is that in those regions around the Pacific, you have frequent seismicity, which keeps on releasing the energy. So the energy is not trapped for a long period of time. Whereas here, because there is a long gap in between, mm -hmm. that is why the right. release becomes intense. And what I found was uh, very interesting was, uh, recently we had an 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake in Kamchatka, but the casualty rate was very minimal. Yes. But here in Afghanistan, a 6 magnitude earthquake has led to 800 plus deaths and I'm yes. sure it will increase further. It will increase. So why is this difference in the death count? So this is very similar to the Latur earthquake that we had in Maharashtra, mm -hmm. where you had a seismicity of five, right. but we had thousands who perished in that seismicity or earthquake. This is owing to the buildings, the closeness of the settlement which happens, and also the strength of construction. So that is why always the casualties are not only dependent on the amount of energy, but also what is the feature of the surface. Right. But from here, Chetan sir, if I can ask you a question. What lessons do we learn when it comes to disaster preparedness and management? Right. So this tells us a very important lesson when it comes to disaster risk reduction. Because any hazard can be managed. You may not be able to prevent disasters like earthquakes, but you can contain the damage. Right. So as you correctly pointed out, sir, this is all about land use planning, uh, having better early warnings, zonation standards being implemented, and building codes being enforced. So this is where we have one country which is extremely disaster prone, but it has managed to contain the damage through better disaster planning and disaster preparedness. Now, can you guess which country is this? And let us know in the comments below.